So what are we going to be doing in today's episode? In today's episode, I will share with you three scholarship opportunities in economics in Canada. So if you are an economics student or you are interested in studying economics, then this video is for you because these are three universities in Canada that offer fully funded scholarships. So buckle on your shoes and tighten your belt. You are in for a ride. Hi, <laughs> welcome again to this episode on Chris O. I am Chris, for those of you who do not already know me, I am a graduate student at the Simon Fraser University and I am on a fully funded scholarship. That is why I make videos on fully funded scholarships to let people know about these opportunities. So, if you are looking for scholarships in North America, in US and Canada, you are in the right place. And thank you for tuning in if you are coming for the first time. And for those of you who are returning viewers, thank you always for tuning in. I really appreciate it. We are almost down to 1,000 subscribers. Please, we should keep on. We should keep pushing on. Share with your friends. Make sure to like and comment. And I am ever grateful to you. Yeah, welcome in. So the first school on our list is Toronto Metropolitan University and the second school is the University of Waterloo and the first school on our list is the University of Winni Winnipeg. These schools have fully funded scholarships for PhDs and Masters in Economics. So without further ado, let's get down to business. The first school is Toronto Metropolitan University and this university has two different kinds of funding. The first kind of funding is the normal departmental based funding that they give to their PhD students. This funding covers would give you 20,000 in funding per year for the first three years of the program. The amount will come from a combination of scholarship, fellowships, award, and graduate research assistantships. So, this program is for their PhD students, and they do also give you three thousand for summer research assistantships. Yes. Now, the second kind of funding they have in this department is the CERC migration migration scholarship, and this scholarship is ten thousand for. 10,000 in stipend and 25,000 per year in stipend for PhD students. And now this funding would be given to anyone who is doing anything related to migration. So if you decide to work your dissertation or your thesis on anything related to migration, then you can apply to this funding. Now, you, if you go to the department website that you've seen on the screen here you will see how to apply the link to apply to these scholarships yes so that is that for this department how do you apply to this program well to apply to this program you must their phd requires you to have a master's already unlike u.s schools that do not require you to have masters canadian schools require you to have masters for a phd so they need you to have at least b plus which is 3.33 this is like second class upper for in your masters provide two academic letters of reference provide your cv personal statement of interest that captures your reason for graduate studies in economics your research interests and how your previous studies and experience have prepared you for the phd program and then your career objectives have PhD program relates to them now yeah so that is what they require you to submit for this program they do not even need your writing sample so yeah and you do not need GRE or TOEFL or anything it is it is waived they don't need it so that is that for Toronto Metropolitan University and let's move down to our second school so so the second school on our list is the university of waterloo and university of waterloo has both fully funded masters and phd in economics approximately for their master student they give you eighteen thousand canadian dollars and stipend 
and for their PhD student they give you 25,000 Canadian dollars per year for the duration of your program now teaching assistantship rate is 6,617 Canadian dollar per year an international doctoral student award is valued at 5,140,000 $5, Canadian dollars per term for a maximum of 12 terms and they have other kinds of funding on their website so that is good now what do you need to apply to this program there's something I noticed if you are applying to this program please ask questions they seem to not according to the FAQ they have here they are saying that we will not be accepting any PhD applications from international students for this application cycle now they, they are saying for international master students they, they are saying we receive an average of 180 international masters applications each year and admit approximately 10 funded international students and 10 unfunded international students GRE is not required and yeah so this information is good no application for international phd student whereas for master students there is funding for master awarded to at least 10 international master students now what do you need to apply to this program to apply to this program you need your undergraduate um, degree which you should have honors in in honors bachelor's degree and then applicants must have strong preparation in economics and in the mathematical tools needed to be successful in the program including the following university level courses advanced microeconomics advanced macroeconomics advanced econometrics mathematical economics as an equivalent two terms of calculus and one term of linear algebra they, they would also need two academic letters of reference and proof of competency in english well if you study with english this requirement is waived so that is that for university of waterloo and we moved our last school on our list so the last school on our list is the university of winnipeg and i did not see the specifics about their funding but let's see what they have there will be an effort to provide funding to every student admitted into the Masters of Arts and Applied Economics program. Financial support will be in the form of scholarship, teaching assistantships or research assistantships. We aim to provide funding that is competitive with other Canadian Masters programs in economics. Students are automatically considered for financial support. No separate application is required. In case you do not wish to be considered for financial assistance, please let us know as this funding will be made available to other students. So this school, as you have seen me, as you have heard me read, they are offering funding to their, for their master student and this funding is automatic. So they have other kinds of scholarships on their webpage that you can make that you can apply for now what do you need to apply to this program because we must hold your bachelor's degree in economics four years degree in economics with coursework in advanced microeconomics and advanced macroeconomics calculus statistics and econometrics so that is that of course you would need your cv and other things that other departments are asking for so CV, letters of academic interest, transcript, statement of interest, and the online application form. So that is that for this university and that is, will be all for this episode. So we are done for today. We, that is the schools we have for this episode. Now, um, before we call it a day, please if you have not already subscribed to my youtube channel please do subscribe please it's not hard you see that button just click on it and you'll be subscribed it's not difficult to subscribe please subscribe because you'll be helping me to make this video it will be encouraging me to make more videos and you don't know who you will be helping by subscribing and by sharing and by liking yes so thank you so much for tuning in today. Those of you who stayed to the end, I am very grateful as always and I will continue to be grateful to you. So 
Thank you so much for watching and see you next week. Bye-bye.